In this video, I'll be helping you with the math topic called differentiating the sets of numbers, as seen here in the OpenStax College Algebra 2nd Edition text. We're asked to classify each of these numbers as natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, or irrational numbers. And first, I'll recall that natural numbers include all of our counting numbers, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Whole numbers take all of those numbers and add 0. And again, integers take all of those numbers and add their opposites. And as before, rational numbers can be written as fractions, where there is an integer in the numerator and the denominator. And since natural numbers, whole numbers, and integers are all rational, I'm going to draw a line here because irrational numbers are going to be none of the above. With that in mind, we can move on and starting with a, which is the square root of 36. Before classifying a number, I should see if it simplifies. The square root of 36 is just 6. So we are classifying 6. 6 is a counting number, so it is natural. It's also a whole number, since that would be all of the natural numbers plus 0. It's also an integer. Since we could write it as 6 over 1, it will be rational. And we're using a Q here to indicate rational. Since it's rational, it cannot be irrational. For B, we have 8 thirds. 8 thirds is not a counting number, or a whole number, or an integer. However, it is a rational number. It's written as an integer over an integer. So B will just be indicated as rational. C is the square root of 73. The square root of 73 doesn't simplify, so it will not be a natural number, a whole number, or an integer. It's also not going to be rational because I can't write it as an integer over an integer. This will be irrational, which is our Q prime symbol here. Moving on to D, D is negative six. Negative six is not natural because it's not in the sequence one, two, three, four, five, and so on. It's not a whole number. However, it is an integer. And since we could write negative six as negative six over one, it's also rational. E is a decimal number, so it's not going to be natural, whole, or an integer. And to determine whether it's rational or irrational, I need to determine whether the decimal terminates or repeats. It doesn't terminate, so the question is, does it repeat? I can see a 2, 1, however, the next one has a 2, 1, 1, and then a 2, 1, 1, 1. So this does not repeat. This will be irrational, or Q prime. 